Hi guys, it is T-Bone Pearson here. I'm still hard at work on this documentary. Uh, this is episode two, where we follow the two uh, Danny Jolie and his grandson Jake around the butcher shop, and they're going to show us how to make breakfast sausages, which I never knew how they made it. So this is interesting. Um, at this point right now, the episode is... If you hover over this right here, it'll tell you the duration, which is 16 minutes and 13 seconds. So what I'm trying to do right now, I call it uh, boiling things down. So I don't want the audience to be bored. Uh, I don't want the episode to be repetitive, you know, the same information over and over and over. So I'm going to go through and see if I can trim the fat, as they say, if we keep it within the uh, butchery field. Uh, so let's have a look here. This could be boring, but this is, hey, it's, this is editing. <laughs> it could be really boring at times, but actually I find it fascinating. It's fun to actually create something uh, that people will enjoy. So I'm going to watch this through. So, hey, you guys can watch me work for a little while. I don't mind it because uh, it it, editing can be lonely. So it's sort of fun to shoot a video and you guys can uh, watch or ask questions. I know I'm getting a lot of people on Facebook watching this and, uh, on YouTube as well. So let's watch from the beginning. This is the intro. So I decided to go with a, a title just to, for people who saw the first one, just to let them know that it, this is the second, epi second, second episode. Okay, now I'm talking, okay. All right, let's try, again. let's try this. This is a story of a man, a story of a man's work, a skilled craftsman with his hands, with a semi-centennial of dedication, knowledge, and experience, the best of the best, an unsung hero of the food industry. This is the story of my father, Butcher, a life behind the knife. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Glean Meat Market. Market. Okay, so my thought is perhaps, so how do I, okay, so I hit the tilde key. Uh, that makes it full screen. Um, not true full screen. I think you hold down control and, and tilde to make it fill your entire screen. Um, let's go to this beginning again. This is a story of a man, a story of a man's work. I'm thinking I'll have the title of the series because this is going to be up on Amazon Prime in the States and UK, and it's called Butcher, A Life Behind the Knife. I'm thinking I should have that right away, just so we know. Um, so let's make up a title here, guys. I have one here that's grayed out. Maybe I should enable it? What's going on? Yeah, so I must have turn this off for some reason. Oh, it was just where we shot the footage. So it was Ottawa, Canada. Maybe we could steal that. And we'll take Ottawa, Canada up to the top here. It's going a little slow. I think because I'm recording as well as editing and slowing things down a bit. Um, all right, so let's go up here. And I don't like that font for the, the title. Again, this is really chuggy when I'm rolling. I may have to stop. Okay, here we go. So let's go butcher a life behind the knife. And let's change the font. It's too silly for uh, this. I don't mind, like, you know, the episode being in this font, but the episode name, but this has to be more professional. So let's go to our fonts here. Burr, 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 burr. Now you can install as many fonts on your computer as possible as you want. You can go to free fonts and uh, throw that in Googs and you'll be good. You can grab all sorts of stuff. So this is from like other projects that I've installed on my computer. Uh, let's see, something that's professional. Hmm. Let me see. Now, this could be boring unless you're into editing or want to be an editor on a documentary or... I do a lot of fiction. What's a mortal look like? Hmm, that's not bad. Oh, no, no, it looks a little cheesy with those double crosses. What happened? And where is the title? Oh, there it is up there. Okay, so I probably move this, I'm assuming. Yeah, it, those little star things are a little <laughs> cheesy. 
but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. All right, so let's double click the title and let us find not immortal because that's you know fantasy-ish. And let's try maybe this. That's not bad. I don't mind that. Uh, what else? That one's called what? Lithos Pro. Let's try what? That's not bad. I don't mind that. Let's go with that for now. I can always change it after. Uh, let's uh, shrink this down. Whoa, too small. Just so it fills the screen. Something like that would work. Click this tool right here. Now again, I'm using Premiere Pro with the Adobe Creative Suite. And we'll put it up here. Okay, so let's just get off this. Right away, I'm not liking the orange. I don't mind it for the episode title. But for the title, I'm thinking, let's just go white. And with the black. No, that doesn't work either. Maybe black inside, like a villain. Uh, and let's do an outer, outer strokes. Let's do the reverse. We'll do white. Let's see what that looks like. Probably won't work. No, it doesn't work. Um, let's maybe keep with the orange theme. I'll use this eyedrop tool. And let's go and grab some orange. Still doesn't work for me. Let's look at the the Glebe Meat Market is has like a red. Let's try maybe. I still don't think this is gonna work. A lot of it's just playing around until you find something you like. That looks like a horror film, so that's not gonna work. Uh, la, 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 la. I don't know. Let's go back to white for the inside maybe. And maybe like a let's try a blue or something. Let's go crazy! Sort of nice, but doesn't have the power. Huh. Okay, let's go. What? Let's go. The white inside is not working for me. Let's see. Let's leave this. Let it sit. Let's just line this up. I can come back to this. It's not working for me, but it's all. You just just keep plucking away. This is a story of a man. Oh, so it faded in, huh? All right. So let's get rid of that fade in. That would be over here. There's some keyframes. So let's just uh, go to this one. Hit 100%. So there's no fade in. This is a story of a man. A story of a man's work. A skilled craftsman with his hands. With a semi This is a story of a man. A story of... Well, we're eventually going to get this main title to work. Color-wise. And font-wise. But we do have to make it line up with the episode. Um, so where are we? So this is what? Okay, that's episode two. We need these to line up as far as fading away. So let's check the keyframes here. Go to there. You can just click these and jump from keyframe to keyframe. Let's go here. And let's make a keyframe on this one. Go to this one, jump to this keyframe, go back to that clip, make a new keyframe so we can line these all up. Um, so that's zero. Um, this would be a hundred here. So we need this one to be a hundred. And let's make sure we're on this keyframe and go to a hundred. There. Now let's jump back because there'll probably be a zero. Yeah, let's get delete this. We're just going to click it, delete, and we should be good. So they should fade away at the same time. This is a story of a man, a story of a man's work, a skilled craftsman with his hands, with a semi-centennial of dedication. I'm not feeling the titles, but it is what it is for now. Let's keep going. Knowledge and experience, the best of the best, an unsung hero of the food industry. This is the story of my father, Butcher, a life behind the knife. Welcome to the Glean Meat Market. I've been making sauces, i say for about 48 years. Next year, when I'm retired at 65, it'll be 50 years. Now I'm gonna be doing some uh, breakfast sausage. 
So this there's, this is spice that we. So the first stage is you want to get your editing tight, and then you can work on sound and getting rid of background noise and uh, color correction. But the first thing is just get the editing tight. Focus on one thing, um, and then work on those different phases. I've been making sauces. I say for about 48 years. Next year, when I'm retired at 65, it'll be 50 years. Now I'm going to be doing some uh, breakfast sausage. So this, there's, this is spice that we do in the store. We don't buy the spice from the companies. We do our own spice. And it's all pure spice. There's no nitrite, no flour, anything like that. Just spice and, and meat. So I'm going to do the, the mixing with the, the ice cold water. So, and there you go. And then mix it up. So this is working fine for me. Make sure that uh, it's all well done. That's the color that we, for the breakfast sausage. So we have uh, 25 pounds of pork. It's all pork butt, what we call pork butt or shoulder. And all the meat is, uh, it's really nice. You know, there's not, not much fat. It's uh, about maybe, I'd say about 75% lean. All right. You need a bit of fat in the sausage. Because if you don't put any fat in it, it'll be too dry. So that's why we, we, did, we say about 70%. So you put it in there, yeah. the same as you did before. Now I'm wondering if I can cut this out. So he talks about the fat content. In the sausage, because if you don't put any fat in it, it'll be too dry. So we cut it here and then get rid of this chunk here. So that's why we, we, did, we say about 70%. So you put it in there. So, um, because he's sort of saying the same thing. So just a now let's see how this cuts though. And then it'll be too dry. Okay, so uh, C for cut. So that's why we, we, did, we say about 70%. So you put it in there. Mm. 70%. So, so you put it in there. Yeah. The same as you did before. The only problem is we lose that, him instructing Jake to do that. So I'm going to control Z, let's leave it in. There was nowhere to cut. All right. You need really. a bit of fat in the sausage, because if you don't put any fat in it, it'll be too dry. You want to boil things down, but you don't want to hurt the piece. So that's why we, we, did, we say about 70%. So you put it in there, yeah. the same as you did before. And this is really a story about, um, you know, grandfather and his grandson, you know, he's sharing information, the wisdom uh, that he was taught. So we never want to lose that. Yeah. And do what you now we might be able to do what you did before. Trim this up. Like if we cut right there. So I'm just hit B for the hot key and then pull this in. Now, oh, it's because our music is not um, tied down here. So we're just going to lock the music. So now I can do this move. And let's see how this cuts. So you put it in there. Yeah. The same as you did before. And what you it seemed a little jumpy there. Let's give it a few frames here. Even frig. See, I was trying to save time, but I don't know if it's going to work. The whole thing. See, that's not before. bad. You did before. The whole thing. Let's just go back and see what I cut there. Four. Yeah. And do what you do, you just make sure that all the meat's in. You just go like this. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it as is. You never want to hurt it. Yeah. And do what you do, you just make sure that all the meat's in. You just go like this. All right? So now what I do, I put the, the mixer on, and then we put that in with the meat. All right? And this machine will mix the whole thing. All right. And we start. Okay. We have to wait about maybe two to three minutes, to, and then we do it again. The old days, like they say about even 25 years ago, we didn't have a machine like that. We had everything done by hand. We had to mix like the meat, the spices. The cold, we had ice, cold water, but it was, sometimes it was ice that we used to come. The, cut in small pieces and mix it all together. It was really cold. So, uh, but now with the new machines, it's more technology, so it's better. And just do it. 
Maybe I'll cut the end part here. Like I like uh, the story. Cut in small piece and mix it all together. It was really cool. And then just um, he's he's talking about it, but I don't know if you have to talk about the technology. We understand that. Okay, let's listen to this again. Maybe two to three minutes. Just pause it. And then we do it again. The old days, like let's say about even 25 years ago, we didn't have a machine like that. We had everything done by hand. We had to mix like the meat, the spices, the cold. we had ice, cold water, but it was sometimes it was ice that we used to come. The cut in small piece and mix it all together. It was really cold. And just do it. Hmm. Dang it. I almost want that. All right. So see, a lot of time is like you're cutting here, then you're putting it back cold, in. We had ice, cold water, but it was sometimes it was ice that we used to come. Or maybe I can just be more aggressive on this cut. The old days, like let's say about even 25 years ago, we didn't have a machine like that. We had everything done by hand. We had to mix like the meat, the spices, the cold. So why did we just get away with we had to do everything by hand? We had everything done by hand. So he talks about the machine and then he says we had to do everything by hand. That might be enough. And you know, we get we get it. And let's see. Technology, so it's better. And just do it. Yeah. Okay, so let's just delete this. Ripple delete. And this may need some work where this cuts together. Done by hand. And just do it. You got to make sure everything is well done before you put it to the casing. Okay, let's look at the video here. And just do it. You got to make sure everything is well done before you put it to the casing. So if it stops, that means it's all done. Okay, so I'm not really worried about the audio so much here, just showing the process. It's ripple delete in here. Um, anyways, let's see, this video is almost like at 20 minutes. So if you guys want me to keep showing you guys what I'm up to, uh, please comment below to say thanks or you want to see more or whatever. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe if you're on YouTube. Um, say hi if you're on Facebook and um, hit that notification bell and I'll, I'll keep going through this process because there's still a lot of work to be had but if you're new at this uh i'm hoping this will help someone out there um anyways guys uh thanks for watching i will talk to you guys later cheers bye